Our Artemis I flight test is go for launch, the first deep space long duration biology test, and the Webb Space Telescope captures new images of Jupiter, a few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. On August 22nd, mission managers concluded a flight readiness review for our uncrewed Artemis I flight test by giving teams a go for launch. The review is an in-depth assessment of the readiness of our Space Launch System rocket and Orion spacecraft to support the Artemis I flight test beyond the Moon and back to Earth. The primary goal of the mission is to thoroughly test the integrated systems from launch to splashdown before flying astronauts on subsequent Artemis missions. Artemis I is currently targeted for launch no earlier than August 29th. BioSentinel, a shoebox-sized CubeSat, is one of several secondary payloads on our uncrewed Artemis I flight test. It will perform the first long-duration biology experiment in deep space by monitoring the vital signs of yeast exposed to deep space radiation. Yeast cells have some biological similarities to human cells, so BioSentinel could help us better understand the risks of space radiation to humans and other biological organisms as we plan crewed exploration missions to the Moon and beyond. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope recently captured new images of Jupiter that may give astronomers even more clues to the planet's inner life. The images, captured by Webb's near-infrared camera or NIRCAM, show auroras extending to high altitudes above the northern and southern poles of Jupiter. They also provide details about some of the planet's clouds, haze, and other atmospheric features, such as the Great Red Spot, a storm so big it could swallow Earth. Researchers have already begun analyzing web data to get new science results about our solar system's largest planet. NASA and Boeing are targeting as early as February 2023 for the launch of the Boeing crew flight test to the International Space Station. The mission will carry NASA astronauts Barry Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams to the space station, where they will live and work for about two weeks. This is the first flight of the company's CST-100 Starliner spacecraft with astronauts. The mission will demonstrate the ability of Starliner to safely carry astronauts to and from the station. Find out more about NASA's commercial crew program at nasa.gov slash commercial crew. Engineers recently installed and deployed the 30-foot-long solar array for our partner agency NOAA's Joint Polar Satellite System 2, or JPSS-2. The solar array deployment marked the last major testing milestone for the weather satellite ahead of its targeted November 1st launch at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. JPSS-2 will orbit Earth from pole to pole, taking measurements and snapping images to help us plan for hurricanes, snowstorms, floods, and other severe weather. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov slash twan.